Here in the Western Grand Canyon, we have the youngest rocks in the Grand Canyon that poured over the rim into the, into the bottom of, a, of an existing canyon. And we can see them, how they piled up and how they influenced or how they interacted with the river to form lava dams and, and then uh, the lava dams burst. It's a great story from down here. But in this particular vantage point, we can look clear to the rim up there and we can see one of the volcanoes that erupted to send these basalts down into the canyon where we are now. It's called Vulcan's Throne. It's a famous landmark. It sits perched right on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. John Wesley Powell saw it from down here, correctly interpreted it to be one of the volcanoes that uh, caused the cascades of basalt into the, into the canyon. Now we have better tools. We've dated Vulcan's Throne. It's about 100,000 years old in part, and around it is a large volcanic field that ranges in age from a couple of million to as young as 1,000 years. So now I want to emphasize the young end of this geologic story is getting close to human timescales, a thousand years. It's something we can comprehend. We know about a thousand years ago what was happening in Europe, and a thousand years ago what was happening in Egypt, which of course goes back uh, uh, 5,000 or 6,000 with civilization. So we're, we're in a realm of history now which we can understand that and on the Uinkrit volcanic field on the north rim there's a flow, it's called the Little Springs flow and in that flow, it's been dated as 1,000 years old we find pieces of pottery of Anasazi pottery. So those people lived here they were watching the flow move it doesn't move so fast that it, you can't get out of its way and I don't know whether they were throwing their pots in as an offering or whether they were uh, m maybe trying to slow down the lava by throwing pottery into it or, or maybe simply they were just get, getting rid of their trash in the, in the uh, hot flowing magma. But the pieces of pottery that are in the Little Springs flow tell us that humans watched it, interacted with it, and it's a very exciting thought to think that the geology is coming together with human history, in a sense, and archaeology uh, to merge these timescales from deep time to human timescales.